Yesterday, planes touched down at the Hazleton Regional Airport. But the planes that were landing in Hazleton weren't ordinary planes. They were actually planes that were flown during World War II. The planes were put on display by the Collings Foundation as part of their Wings of Freedom tour, which is used to support living history of World War II. Well, the year's 2017. Everyone that got to come to the Wings of Freedom tour today got to relive what it was like in World War II. One of those people who got to relive history was myself, as I had the opportunity to fly above Hazleton in Witchcraft, which was a B-24J Liberator used as a bomber in World War II. The experience was something special, as I got to move around the plane and see what it was like for members of the Air Force during that time. Robert Pinkston flew the plane I was on, and he describes the experience of flying the historical plane. It's pretty incredible. I mean, when you think back and just think about the kids younger than me doing it back in World War II, and then, you know, you're flying the last remaining B-24, it's pretty cool to think about. Once our flight landed, people began to tour the planes. One of those people was Michael Esposito, who was reliving history in a much different way than myself, as he was a former aerial gunner during World War II, and he shared his story with me. I got a lump in my throat. It's like a lot of my buddies go shot down, you know, and I think of them, you know, one, one of them, we had three more missions to go, and you know, they got shot down. That's what I mean, and it uh, uh, brings back memories of how a bomber come back with all holes in it, but we made it. It's experiences like Esposito's and mine, which is why the Collings Foundation has been putting on their Wings of Freedom tour since 1989. Not enough is taught in schools about World War II, so this is a great opportunity for people to come out and see the aircraft that were used during that all-important World War II, and also to meet World War II veterans, because we still have plenty of them that show up to, to look at the airplanes. World War II may have ended 72 years ago, but for anyone that attended yesterday's event, they will never forget their experiences, as history is being kept alive. For SSP-TV News, I'm John Eric Poli.